In this tutorial, we are going to split our list of students we have here by odd rows and even rows using formulas in Google Sheets. Before we get started, I have a starter sheet in the links in the description below if you want to play along. And I encourage you to play along because it really helps you with the learning process. Let's get cracking. The first thing we need to do is find the row number for each one of these students in our list here. Now we can get the row number with the row function. So let's just jump over to uh, cell N5 here and just let me show you how it works. If I go equals row and select cell A5 here, that's going to give me five. So let's close that and that gives us row number five. I could drag this down. This will give me all the consecutive rows as well. All right, cool. Let's just keep that there for now. Now, with this row, we want to check whether this is odd or even. So let's just go up to O4 and we'll just call this odd and P4 even. Now we can use the is odd function to check if the row is odd or even. Equals is odd and close this off. And that's going to say true. And we're getting a little bit of help from Google Sheets here. And yes, we do. Thank you very much. And we can do the same here. We can say is even and select N5 here. And hit enter. Yes, thank you very much, Google. I'll accept. And now we can see we've got is odd and even. Now, this is all well and good, but we don't want this messy calculations on the side here. We want to bring everything all into the one formula. So what we can do first is to merge this together. So let's just work on odd here at the moment. So let's just delete the even row and we can combine these two formulas together simply by going equals is odd and then row and then we can select the row. Let's call this one A5 and close the brackets twice, hit enter and our little helper is there. Awesome. And we've got the same values again. Now this only gives us one value at a time and we want to be able to produce this for the entire range of students that we have here. So to do this, we can use the array formula function. So let's just pop over to D5 so you can see a little bit eas more easily. And if I type in equals array formula and then we go is odd and then row and then check on this range here. So a5, but instead of just leaving it A5, we check the entire range. So we put in a colon and we're going to go all the way down to this A74 here. So let's type in A74. And this array formula allows us to use ranges on these functions here. So let's close this brackets. Let's close it again. And we need to close it one more time and hit enter. And now you can see we've got just from this single formula, all these values have been added in as true or false. Cool. So next thing we need to do is update these two ranges here. So for our odd rows, we want to filter out anything that is even. And of course, even we want to filter out anything that is odd. So we can do this with the filter function. So let's type in equals filter. So our first argument is the range that we want shown. And that's going to be from A5 all the way across to C. And that's all the way down to, I believe, 74. So let's just scroll down and double check. Yep, 74. Excellent. So that's going to be shown. And now we want to say we want the condition or basically what we want filtered out. And that's going to be this array formula we used in column D here. So let's just put it inside this cell so we can go array formula and is odd row we're going to say A5 to A74. And close the brackets, close the brackets again, close the brackets again, close the brackets again. Hit enter. Now you can see that we've got Adrian Percy, who's in row five, is here. And then the next person should be Anthony Goldstein and Anthony Goldstein there. And Blaze Zavini is next. And then followed by Colin Creevy and so on and so forth with all our odd values. Let's quickly update for that for the even rows. And all we need to do here is let's just be lazy and just select all and hit Control C to copy. I'm going to hit tab to get out of that formula and then just jump into J5 and go into the formula bar at the top and hit Control V. And let's just update this is odd to is even and see what happens. Let's hit enter. And now we can see that Andrew Kirk 
is in row six, so he's in the even row. Astoria Greengrass is now in row eight, so they're in the right position. Cho Chang, row 10, perfect. So now we have our odd rows range and our even rows range. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to split these students by even IDs and by their class number, whether it's even or odd. Until next time.